Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan and today we have week six of the top five mods of the week. Now, hopefully you guys will enjoy the mods that I've picked out for this week. So let's just jump straight in. This first mod is called Project Hippie. Now, basically what it does is it adds trees and bushes and more landscape features to a lot of the areas in Skyrim. I know in most of my top five videos, I always do a, you know, an immersive mod or a mod that adds more landscaping to the game because I like to see the game built by the fans and I like to see the game and I like to see things added to the game, you know, Know, whether it's nature here I'm going to show you what it looks like in Riverwood there's more trees and everything like that I just like seeing more stuff added to the game that makes it nicer and uh, have a better landscape so combining all the mods that I've like discussed over the weeks will add even way more landscape for you so just combining all the mods together into one all the graphics will make it 10 times better so I strongly recommend getting this mod the next mod that I have for you is called Skyfall Estate. Now I really enjoyed this mod because it is right outside Whiterun. Now for Whiterun, being closer there, because I spend most of my time in my Skyrim playthrough, I always spend it in Whiterun. I do all my selling of my goods there. I do all my quests there and you know, I just like to stay near Whiterun and I like to just stay huddled there. I never go out and buy houses anywhere else. So this place is perfect for you. All you have to do is out front there is a sign and you have to pay 10,000 gold, which is a reasonable amount for how big this house is and how, you know, how much you can do with the house is and uh it'll give you the key in the deed and you also get the horse that comes with the house i'll show you the horse later i'm just going to show you just a little bit around the place now the main entrance has a nice little living area here and if we go off to the left there's a bunch of bookshelves for your books that you pick up through your journeys and if we head on down into the basement uh we'll see that we have a lot of display cases and mannequins and uh, i personally like having a ton of mannequins and this place also comes with two different followers just in case you don't have one i like to stick with Fandle. so you have two different followers that will accompany you through your journeys and we also have areas to store your stuff that are actually designated such as its ingots or uh, you know swords and weapons and stuff like that and you can also make staves now there's a staff enchanter as well as the arcane enchanter there and we also have the alchemy table here i'm going to show you just a little bit of the horse now the horse is actually special because it runs like two times faster than a normal horse and if you sprint you go super fast so i strongly recommend getting this mod because the horse its name is onyx it is a really fast horse. So all together, the house and the horse, it is all worth it. And I strongly recommend getting this mod. This next mod is a teleporting spell mod. Now, basically, all it does is uh, you can use the spell after you have a master and alteration. And uh, it takes you to this little area that I'm in now. And you can teleport almost anywhere in the map. I find this to be really useful just in case, like, you want to discover a location that you haven't discovered yet or something like that. And you don't want to pay money to go to it. And you don't want to, you know, spend time walking there. I find this to be very useful because you can teleport to any major area in the game. It's not just the major cities. I think in here I just show the major cities. But it's not just the major cities. I later found out that you can select an option and it can allow you to teleport almost anywhere in the map. Now, for an example. I'm just going to teleport to Whiterun and I'm going to show you what happens whenever you teleport here. Now this isn't the only spell that it comes with, it also comes with a spell named Shutter Step. Whenever you're in combat and you cast the Shutter Step spell on them, you will teleport behind them and you can get like a sneak attack again. And it's really useful actually, I found it really useful in battle, I'll show you a couple scenes of me fighting the White Run guards here. And uh, I found it to be really useful for just coming up behind your enemies and just taking them right out in a couple swings. Because swinging them in the, hitting them in the back and getting sneak attacks again and again is, is very damaging to your enemies and can actually kill them really fast. So I strongly recommend getting this mod. The next mod that we have here is called Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim. It comes with 155 different and new spells. Now, I'm not going to go through all 155 of them. I'm just going to show you two of them that I found to be really cool. Now, this one, this first one is called Cat Totem, and it basically just summons any random animal to you. See, I had a bear there, and uh, the other one was just a lady. And uh, I found that to be really useful because they're really powerful and they almost can't die pretty much. And uh, this next spell that I'm going to be showing you is called Ghost Walk. Now I found this one also to be really cool because it turns you invisible and then you can walk into an area that you don't know has enemies yet. And But you're invisible and then whenever your invisibility wears off, it'll teleport you right back to the position so you know what is happening up ahead. And you can see what is going on up ahead. And like I said, I'm not going to be showing all 155 of the new ones because that would take way too long. Uh, if you do want to see all 155, you can download the mod for yourself which I strongly recommend doing because it adds way more opportunities for spell using in the game and I really like the ability to use a whole bunch of different spells and use a whole bunch of different elements. So I would recommend this mod to anyone who likes playing around with spells. Now the number one spot mod that we have for today is called Shezri's Old Heraldin Town. 
I believe that's how you pronounce it. So uh, what it comes with is it comes with 26 buildings, 29 voiced characters, over 800 lines of voice dialogue, 23 dialogue scenes between residents, and the NPCs scenes turn their lights on and off at night, which I found was really cool. And there's signs that are posted, and there's named streets. There's secret underground tunnels with taverns and inn. There's um, two viable player houses, and they're both very unique. There's two viable player apartments. There's loads of different shops and stores that you can go in and explore. And uh, there's a complete library in the game with every non-skill book and more. And you can read all the books, but you cannot remove them. Secret passages and secret rooms are included, as well as a short quest to find out information about a resident. And there's tons of new dialogue. So as you can see, this mod does come with a lot of items, and I strongly recommend getting this mod because I explored the city just for a little bit, and I got lost in everything. I got I got lost in the whole city. I spent like 30 minutes in there just exploring everything and just, you know, just talking to every NPC, and it's a really interesting mod, and they actually put a lot of time into it, so I do really recommend getting the mod and exploring the town for yourself, as I can't show you the entire 30 minutes in here because the video would be too long. So that is our number one spot. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew it really helps me out a lot once again i want to say thank you so much for the support recently you guys have been killing it with the likes and nice comments and i read them every single day and they mean the world to me whenever you leave nice comments like these so a special shout out to these people who have been leaving comments on my videos constantly and constantly letting me know if i'm doing something right or wrong so special shout out to you guys you guys mean the world to me and you guys are the best subscribers in the world and i don't know what i do without you so other than that hopefully you guys did enjoy my video but before i go i just want to say thank you to damien galavis for telling me that my dubstep outros are not good enough for him so i picked out something special just for you and i changed my dubstep outro music to something you might find more suitable so hopefully you guys do enjoy my new outro and that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy and i will talk to you guys later